Hello Celebrity Junction fans. Welcome back to our channel as we continue to shine a spotlight into some of your best celebrities. Today we have something for you an in-depth look at an incredible career of the one and only Shaquille Rashan O'Neal. He is known for his outstanding performance on both small and big screens and his legendary career in the NBA. We shall be looking at his incredible rise to fame. Over the years in the NBA, wrestling and film industry. If you are new here or haven't yet subscribed to this channel, kindly do so and turn on the notification button so not to miss any content when uploaded as your support goes a long way in our work. For our loyal viewers, thank you for your support. Shaquille Rishon O'Neal born March 6, 1972. Known commonly as Shaq, is an American former professional basketball player who is a sports analyst on the television program Inside the NBA, O'Neal is regarded as one of the greatest basketball players and centers of all time. He is a 7 foot 1 inch and 325 pound center who played for six teams over his 19 year career in the National Basketball Association NBA and is a four time NBA champion. In addition to his basketball career, O'Neal has released four rap albums with his first Shaq Diesel, going platinum. O'Neal is also an electronic music producer and touring DJ. Known as Diesel, he has appeared in numerous films and has starred in his own reality shows. Shaq's Big Challenge and Shaq vs. He hosts the big podcast with Shaq. He was a minority owner of the Sacramento Kings from 2013 to 2022 and is the general manager of King's Guard Gaming of the NBA to K League. He has an estimated net worth of about $400 million. Early Life and All was born on March 6, 1972, in Newark, New Jersey, to Lucille O'Neill and Joe Tony, who played high school basketball. He was an all-state guard and was offered a basketball scholarship to play at Seton Hall. Tony struggled with drug addiction and was imprisoned for drug possession when O'Neill was an infant. Upon his release, he did not resume a place in O'Neill's life and instead agreed to relinquish his parental rights to O'Neill's Jamaican stepfather, Philip Arthur Harrison, a career army sergeant. Because of his stepfather's career in the military, the family left Newark, moving to military bases in Germany and Texas. After returning from Germany, O'Neill's family settled in San Antonio, Texas, by age 16. O'Neill had grown to 6 feet, 10, and he began playing basketball at Robert G. Cole High School. His 791 rebounds during the 1989 season remains a state record. For a player in any classification, O'Neill's tendency to make hook shots earned comparisons to Kareem Abdul-Jabbar inspiring him to wear the same jersey number as Abdul Jabbar, number 33. After graduating from high school, O'Neill studied business at Louisiana State University LSU. He had first met Tigers coach Dale Brown years earlier in Europe, when O'Neill's stepfather was stationed on a US Army base at Waldflecken, West Germany. While playing for Brown at LSU, O'Neill was a two-time All-American, two-time SEC Player of the Year and received the Adolf Rupp Trophy as NCAA Men's Basketball Player of the Year in 1991. He was also named College Player of the Year by AP and UP. O'Neill left LSU early to pursue his MBA career, but continued his education even after becoming a professional player. He was later inducted into the LSU Hall of Fame. The Orlando Magic drafted O'Neill with the first overall pick in the 1992 NBA draft. In the summer before moving to Orlando, he spent time in Los Angeles under the tutelage of Hall of Famer Magic Johnson. O'Neill wore number 32 because Terry Catledge refused to relinquish the 33 jersey. O'Neill was named the Player of the Week. In his first week in the NBA, the first player to do so, O'Neill became a free agent after the 1995-96 NBA season. In the summer of 1996, O'Neill was named to the United States Olympic basketball team and was later part of the gold medal winning team 
at the 1996 Olympics in Atlanta. On the team's first full day at the Olympics in Atlanta, the media announced that O'Neill would join the Los Angeles Lakers on a seven-year, $121 million contract. O'Neill missed the first 12 games of the 2000-2003 season, recovering from toe surgery. He was sidelined with Halex rigidis, a degenerative arthritis in his toe. On July 14, 2004, O'Neill was traded to the Miami Heat for Carwon Butler, Lamar Odom, Brian Grant, and a future first-round draft choice. The Phoenix Suns acquired O'Neill in February 2008 from the league-worst Miami Heat. While in college, O'Neill was considered for the dream team to fill the college spot, but it eventually went to future teammate Christian Lettner. His national team career began in the 1994 Fiber World Championship, in which he was named MVP of the tournament, while he led the dream team to, to the gold medal with an 8-0 record. After his 1996 experience, he declined to play in international competition. He was angered by being overlooked for the 1999 Fiber America Cup squad, saying it was a lack of respect. Beginning in 1993, O'Neill began to compose rap music. He released five studio albums and one compilation album. Although his rapping abilities were criticized at the outset, O'Neill maintained a high level of interest in the workings of police departments and became personally involved in law enforcement. O'Neill went through the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Reserve Academy and became a reserve officer with the Los Angeles Port Police. On March 2, 2005, O'Neill was given an honorary U.S. Deputy Marshal title and named the spokesman. For the Safe Surfing Foundation, O'Neill began training in mixed martial arts MMA in 2000, and at Jonathan Burke's Gracie Gym, he trained in boxing, jiu-jitsu, muay thai and wrestling. At the gym, he used the nickname Diesel. A lifelong professional wrestling fan, O'Neill has made numerous appearances at televised events over the years. Four, four different promotions, personal life, O'Neill was raised by a Baptist mother and a Muslim stepfather, and that they taught him both. Robin Wright in her book Rock the Casper, as well as the Los Angeles Times, have identified O'Neill as a Muslim. O'Neill married Shawnee Nelson on December 26, 2002. The couple have four children, Sharif, Amira, Shakir, and Miara. Nelson also has one son from a previous relationship, Miles. O'Neill has a daughter named Tahira O'Neill from a previous relationship with his ex-girlfriend, Arnetta Yardborg. On September 4, 2007, O'Neill filed for a divorce from Shawnee from the Miami-Dade Circuit Court, but Shawnee later said that the couple was back together and that the divorce was withdrawn. However, on November 10, 2009, Shawnee filed an intent to divorce citing irreconcilable differences and the divorce was finalized in 2011. Shaq blames himself for the failed marriage and says he made mistakes and was greedy. Thank you for watching kindly like and subscribe to our channel for more videos.